Okay, people, so today we've got the DTV Plus amplifier, 99696-NA, the usual. And I'm actually going to break the seal on this guide. And let's see what we got. So, oh, manual. Okay, the usual English, French, Spanish. Another network cable, Ethernet, quite short this time, which makes sense. It's going to be right next to the system controller. And then we've got the actual amplifier itself. Just get this guy out here. This guy's pretty small. Uh, Bluetooth, apparently. Okay, nice. And then what's that? 3.5 mil jack, maybe? Uh, it's metal, pretty heavy, substantial. Left and right channels, and then we've got some jacks as well, as well as power, and then the network cable, which will connect to the Ethernet controller, uh, the system controller. Uh, UL listing, all that good stuff. 1.8 amps, 24 volts, same as like a HVAC stuff. Interesting. So what else we got? Looks like we got some mountain brackets. These guys seem to be made of metal. Nice. And then a bunch of screws, pads, wool plugs. And we're going to be screwing this into some plywood. So we won't be using those. Looks like this, uh, okay. Mountain bracket. We can fit the, the wires into that guy. Nice. And then let's dig in more. What else we got here? There should be a power adapter. All right, well, I guess they are global, so they got to figure on giving you whatever you may need, wherever you may be. Okay, well, this is all going to be junk, unfortunately. Um, I can show you, though, what we do have, for at least. So there's this connection. I'm not sure if that's East Asian. This guy doesn't seem to move. Reminds me of the drive-in. I know where this one goes, in the UK and Ireland. So, 220. So let's just have a look. It's a fairly big, fairly big uh, adapter there. Um, power adapter, 2.5 amps, 60 watts. Okay, all right, well, we'll find room for all of this stuff. Uh, it's got a substantial cord there, maybe six feet or so. We will see soon enough. Let me just have a look now. Yeah, I'd say that was about five feet of uh, power cable right there. So, cool. And that's pretty much all you get inside that power adapter box that was inside the overall amplifier box. So, yeah, I hope that overview was useful to someone out there.